beautiful Leo, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your Twin Flame reading. I'm just cleansing your space here and I've meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I'm truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder that this is a general reading and may not resonate for everybody, so please take what is for you and leave the rest behind. This is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, I'm running a competition um, for one lucky subscriber to win a free personal reading um, and I will announce that winner on the 12th of April okay um, I'll let you know how to win that right at the end of this reading as some people are here just for the messages and some people are here for both so let's get straight to it my beautiful Leo thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful Leo just to let you know this is the twin flame reading um, I do not choose the cards so whatever spirit would like to talk about I will discuss also if you're looking for a singles reading I've done one of those a couple of days ago also a career reading uh, for those of you who are not interested in that we have wallflower okay so there's an energy here of feeling pretty fed up Leo when it comes to your twin flame reading um, it feels uh, the energy there's someone who's sort of dipping their toe in the relationship perhaps in and out of your life there uh, we've got control so we will address that uh, energy as well thank you so much spirit guys great angels can you please guide my beautiful Leo what do they need to know for their highest good can you please guide them we have spiritual growth, so someone is definitely ascending within this union, and they've asked me to go one more, so I will. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know? Ooh. We have long distance. Okay, so there's an energy here of um, there being some obstacles that still uh, need to be overcome, my beautiful Leo, before you and this person are in some way uh, reunited. There's definitely an energy here of it being on the horizon, should you wish to follow the twin flame journey. Now, not everybody wants to be um, continuing on the, the twin flame journey because it's often a very difficult process, which involves a runner, a chaser, and a separation period. As you can see, um, it's just on the horizon there. They are indicating, I hope you can see the, those two little obstacles there indicating in the way, but it's still there in the distance. It is still viewable, okay? Uh, now, there is spiritual ascension here. So someone is um, ascending to a certain frequency. I feel, as soon as I pick up the, the card, Leo, I feel like your energy, you are ascending. I also feel like there's a lot of transformation going on in your life at the moment. Um, I feel like you're becoming a little bit more peaceful in some areas and trying to remain uh, with that inner calm in other areas. And I also feel like you're picking up the courage to go after your dreams and... Um, I feel like there's a lot of financial growth around you as well coming on in. Um, that's aside from this twin flame uh, reading there. Uh, but we also have control. Okay. Now with this card, they're giving me some resistance. I will pull a, a card on it to clarify the energy. But it's almost like um, you don't trust this twin flame journey anymore. It's almost like you are blocking yourself off or thinking about walking away from this union uh, because it's been very difficult. And there's something here. Um, I feel like it's a protective energy that they're giving me here. Uh, it is, it's almost like you may have tried to surrender to this union um, a couple of times, but um, it's been very difficult because this person keeps coming in and out of your life, okay? And it's controlling the way that things are going. Once you release the energy and decide to walk away and no longer be the runner or the chaser, um, well, if you no longer be the chaser, you actually activate the runner's uh, cord and they s sort of notice that you've uh, stopped that uh, energetic sort of uh, chasing, okay? Uh, but we got here, this person, it's like one foot in, one foot out. You may even feel like this person's got somebody else, um, but the spotlight has been on you and the waiting period. It's almost like you've sacrificed a lot for this union and you're not sure whether you want to continue on this journey. So you may be looking for answers, okay, right now. That's the energy that I'm getting. They're showing me lots of question marks right now. Perhaps you feel like this person that you're dealing with, your twin flame, is a bit of an enigma, a conundrum that you cannot just, you just cannot work this person out. Uh, Leo, you're actually meant to be triggered by this person to work yourself out, okay? Um, so um, that is the underlying message within this union just so you're aware so that you focus on your beautiful self uh, now we have romantic feelings finances and career and let go of control issues i mean leo they're giving the exact same things within a different deck romantic um, feelings your feelings are real and worth exploring so this is the twin flame question mark is this person my twin flame is this person a false flame 
is this meant to be the person for me? Um, now, you may even question yourself, Leo, thinking, am I going crazy? Is it just me that's feeling this energy? I do not feel that way at all, Leo. I feel like this person feels exactly the same way as you. Um, they are indicating your, feel your feelings are real and worth exploring, okay? Because actually, when you explore those feelings and you surrender to the union by exploring yourself and your triggers, you're actually, um, you know, um, ascending spiritually there for you. We do have finances and career. Okay, so definitely I was picking up that energy that financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. You may be focusing a lot on financial um, stability, building a solid foundation for yourself. I feel like you're going to do very well financially. Uh, also, they're giving me this energy about you being very picky, Leo. Now, if someone treated you the same way your twin flame has treated you, you would never, ever let them back into your social circle ever, ever again. Um, I just need to mention at this point, Leo, if someone is being um, emotionally or physically abused, towards you that is not a twin flame union okay I just want to put that out there um, that is an abusive situation that is very toxic um, so please look up what twin flame means you should not be allowing anyone and I don't feel like you would anyway um, treat you in that way for the sake of love uh, we have let go of control issues it says here allow this situation to unfold naturally Okay, uh, so, you know, we all have an idea of where we want relationships to go. And you know that this person is the one. And I'm going to pull some cards on it, but I feel like this person also knows. And I feel like this person has been pushing you away. The, the resistance that you may be feeling from this union right now is what they felt right at the beginning. So I feel like things are spiritually ascending there. We got calling in the soulmate. Now, there's no twin flame card in this deck okay so when you're calling in the soulmate it indicates you're calling in the one that has been laid out for you um, it says your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so definitely an energy here of you and your person the frequencies are starting to rise uh, let's go in and get a little bit more Ooh. Um, they just just as I touch this they gave me um, no oh, sorry could you give me that again please a rolling stone gathers no moss. A rolling stone gathers no moss. Hmm. So uh, perhaps the person that you're dealing with, tw uh, your twin flame, Leo, is someone who is always on the move, always running away from situations. And, you know, moss is something that grows. This person's running away from growth. Um, let, let's see what they, they have to say. Uh, with the overall energy of the month. Now, just to let you know, I'm doing this reading on the 9th of April, 2021, and it's good right through to uh, the 9th of May, 2021. Uh, but yeah, see, look, we got the temperance card, we got the judgment card. You're really weighing this up, whether you want to go back to this or whether you want to continue on this or move forward. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides. Great angels, can you please guide my beautiful... Yeah, I feel it, Leo, I feel it. Um, I feel like you've lost a little bit of hope within this twin flame journey, and you're wondering if this is... Um, something that you want to continue with. The temperance card is in your protagonist energy. You're trying to keep it all together. You may have felt like it was a little bit disruptive energy. This person's quite chaotic. I feel like um, because you love deeply with this person, you feel a little bit out of control. And I feel like this person has left you waiting for a long time. It's been very frustrating. I feel like this person, uh, there's something here about you may feel like they've either got competition for their feelings um, they certainly live life in excess and you may feel a little bit um, out of balance when this person comes in because it's almost like you never know where you stand with this person uh, because they're not, how can I put that? This person is um, like a moth to a flame kind of energy. There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of, um, you know, uh, chemistry going on there with this person, um, but still Deep down, they know that you're the person, they know that you're the twin flame, and you know also that they are the one, but they're resisting this. And uh, I feel like they've resisted this for such a long time, you may be starting to get a little bit impatient now and think, you know what, screw this, I'm going to go for a new start, because we got the full card right there. Okay, I will pull some cards on their energy, see what's going on there, but I feel like with the judgment card, you're weighing up your options. When you get the judgment in this uh, particular uh, position in the spread, it indicates someone's starting to deny their feelings or they have been denying their feelings. Um, this person that you're dealing with, I feel like um, they feel like they're not very good with being vulnerable. They feel it is a weakness. They don't like to open up to people. 
And I feel like this person's denied their feelings and had a bit of a lack of accountability as well uh, for quite some time. Uh, they push uh, people away. And that's not just in terms of love. I feel like this is just, this is in terms of um, getting close to people. I, th I feel like the sentence that they gave me, Leo, is, uh, you know, a, a rolling stone gathers no moss. I feel like this that's how this person activates or lives their life, okay? Um, now, this person may even move from place to place to place. Uh, maybe in terms of job, they may not do the same thing all the time. There's something about this person having real commitment issues in, in general. Um, but this person's denying their feelings. And I feel like maybe you're starting to absorb that energy and think, am I really feeling this? Um, you may be doing a lot of self-evaluation whether you really want to continue on this, because I feel like you are back in balance, you're in harmony, you are spiritually ascending, and there's an energy here of um, you thinking about either rebirthing this or sort of absolving it and sort of just moving on, getting freedom. Um, you're a new person, a new version of yourself, and it does require you to purge something that no longer serves you or hinders you, and you may be looking at this relationship thinking, you know, I sacrifice a lot of time for this, and I feel like, um, I've been left empty because I feel like this person just took your wonderful love and you gave it. Um, I feel like you gave your nurturing, your care, your support towards this person. And, um, you know, they loved living, basking in your shine, Leo. Um, but I feel like the time has come for you to really uh, reevaluate it because I feel like some self-doubt has come in there. This person has re rejected the connection in some way by staying silent or pushing you away. They've got a blockage. I will clarify what that energy is. And we've also got the full card. This is the unified position. Now it's interesting because this person's coming on in, they want to um, have a new start with you, but I think you're trying to manifest um, you know, a new direction. I feel like you're trying to get your mojo back because I feel like there's some sort of cynicism or lost hope in this situation. You are not prepared for this person to be absent, Leo, um, especially when there's such deep feelings. You are ready and willing to risk everything and go deep in this relationship. This is not something that you would do for a lot of people, but because it's twin flame, you know that this person um, w was worth it. And uh, there was a rejection here, a blockage, because uh, you both triggered each other's wounding. And I feel like this person um, has sort of like carelessly pushed you to the side there. Now you may have been dealing with someone who was quite immature, who was not ready for the connection when um, they met you. Because I feel like this person didn't expect to catch feelings. Okay, and they've been controlling this energy um, to keep people at a distance. No matter what has come this person's way, they feel, um, you know, that it's almost like this person um, either has grown up really quick. See, it's interesting. I feel like their energy is quite immature now because when they were younger, I feel like this person had to grow up quite quickly and become adult. Um, in a certain situation and now as they get older they're like I don't want responsibility anymore so I feel like this person's sort of pushing all of that kind of energy away now let me just clarify a little bit of energy before I move forward thank you so much spirit guides guard angels can you please clarify this control card for my beautiful Leo what's going on there with the control card the Empress in the reverse this person knows you're the one but they're trying to push you away Okay, um, and when we got the Empress in the reverse, this also indicates that either uh, this person is younger than you and you feel like um, it, it's not a match um, because you've started to overthink the connection or you feel like um, time is running out here if you wanted to settle down and have a family. Um, the Empress um, indicates, you know, not having children just yet or a fertility issue perhaps um, or a worry there and you may be thinking you know I'm going to disconnect from this because time is running out and I can't wait for someone to spiritually ascend now absolutely Leo I never ever would suggest that you should ever wait for anybody okay uh, the twin flame journey is not about waiting it is about spiritually ascending and finding um ooh, thank you so much we have the eight of wands we have the judgment again uh, we got the seven of pentacles, we got the five. This person's got deep, deep abandonment issues, okay? Um, now, what's really interesting um, is that this person, um, they just have no follow-through, okay? No follow-through. It's interesting because this person is trying to... It's so weird. This person, they may have uh, chosen money over... Um, 
your relationship or a career over your relationship and they were not at that time they were not looking for love they did not they felt it was not a match genuinely um but as they've started to spiritually ascend i feel like this person is st starting to rethink their life or judge themselves here and i feel like um they're looking at their deep abandonment issues we got the eight of wands in the upright there indicating this person is making some changes some really quick changes recently in their life uh the judgment indicates uh, as i said there there's a, a sort of they're casting judgment on whatever actions they've done so far. They've been really looking back. There's clarity of purpose here as well. This person's receiving a bit of an epiphany and a wake up call. And that's why I feel like both of you are mirroring each other's energy here because the judgment card has shown up twice. Okay. And we've got the seven of pentacles in the reverse. This person, they don't do very much. Uh, they don't invest where they don't feel like there's reward. This person's quite goal oriented so bizarre and they feel like I feel like they've run after a career or something for a long time this actually this person's actually a very jealous person as well Leo um, it's almost like now please don't shoot the messenger when I say this um, you may have outshone this person and it triggered something from their wounding uh, you didn't mean to you're just being your natural self uh, oh now I did touch that card I have to say but it's come off the deck and now they just said and this one so I'm going to take that ace of pentacles okay this person um either they're stressing about money they're losing a lot of money um but I, I feel very much like this person they're looking at all the times that they did not invest in a connection with you and they feel like um you know Either you've gone silent on this person or, uh, you know, they're looking at their wounding because of it, uh, because this person is now feeling pretty left out in the cold. We have the nine of wands there, which is a wounded warrior energy, uh, but they're trying to turn things around. They're trying to have faith. OK, um, this person, I feel like you and this person very defensive. OK, because there's feelings there as well. Um, so if this person comes on in, you talk to this person in a very different way than you talk to a lot of people. And I feel like this person does the same for you. There's a there's some sort of guardedness there. I need to see what that is. Oh, whoa, that is that is actually the control, the guardedness. OK, how would you like to see? Thank you so much. They see clearly. Oh, my gosh. But there's no talking here now. This person. Yeah, this person. We got the Queen of Swords. It's in the reverse. Either this person was unkind to you or dishonest in, dishonest in some way. The, the connection here has gone cold. Okay. Now we got the Sun card in the reverse as well. Um, there's something here about uh, waiting or uh, this person, you know, goes for temporary gratification in the sexual sense, Leo, because it's followed by the King of Wands there. Now this person is bossing up. They are becoming someone who, um, you know, is gaining the courage to come towards you. Uh, but they're just giving me this energy that there's, there's such a complex human being you're dealing with here. So I can see why at the beginning I was getting lots of question marks like this person's a conundrum. Uh, they de definitely have some sort of abandonment issues here. Um, I'm going to see what that is. Uh, because at the moment, this person doesn't seem to commit to anything, Leo. Okay, let's go for um, this deck here before I go into a Celtic cross. Uh, can you please tell me a little bit more about my beautiful Leo's twin flame? They're, Leo's calling in the soulmate. What's happening there? we got the lovers in the reverse. They have a lot of regrets. Okay, the woulda, coulda, shoulda conversations. This person, they know that you're the twin. They, they know. Okay, and if they didn't know before, because I feel like at the beginning, they were not looking for love. They were not looking for feelings. They wanted a good old sexy time. And then they, they caught these feelings. You see, the lovers card indicates they now know um, in the breakup, in the separation, that, uh, you know, th that you are their counterpart. And they have a lot of regrets. They feel like they made some bad choices here. Um, and I feel like this person, um, let's see what they're going to do about it. Thank you so much, spirit guys, grand angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know? We have the ace of voices and we got the moon card in the reverse. Now, at the moment, there may be no talking between you and this person. Okay. This person's just, they're actually sitting in their own judgment. When you get the ace of swords or the ace of voices in the reverse there, that indicates this person knows they made a, a, a bad, bad judgment. OK, um, and this person's stressing about it at this moment in time. Um, I feel very much like this person, either they were dishonest towards you or they just did not. Uh, they regret not telling you how they feel. OK, and we got the moon card here. Um, you know, this person was afraid. 
this person uh, gave a lot of confusion in the relationship and I feel like you may have been very frustrated with this person. Um, what is the problem here? What is the problem? Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What is the problem within this union? What is the problem? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. Three of emotions. So this could be a third party situation, Leo. Um, but also it could be, uh, you know, this person has kind of got a Peter Pan and male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. There's something about this person. They don't want to settle down. They want to have that party lifestyle all the time. Uh, this person feels like, um, again, they give me the sentence. A rolling stone gathers no moss. I mean, I just really thought about the rolling stone part. Maybe a rolling stone, maybe this person is in a band or something. Uh, I mean, not the actual rolling stones, uh, but maybe this person sort of aspires to be that sort of Peter Pan kind of, you know, um, rock star who's desired by people. Um, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. Um, I feel like this is only if you know that this person has a, a third party situation or you suspect because if, if your person does not have a, tw a, a third party or a karmic situation right now, then this part of the reading does not apply to you. They keep saying, saying Robert to me, Robert. They've said it a couple of times. Uh, Robert has come up before in a reading, so I sort of dismissed it at first, but they keep saying it, so um, I, I gotta give it there. Um, so this person may have some sort of substance abuse. The Ten of Inspiration, okay? Uh, this person, uh, you know, the Ten of... The Ten of Wands indicates this person, uh, I feel like you're, you're trying to walk away from this person or you're thinking about it because it's so, so stressful, okay? And I also get, yeah, you're freeing yourself up from this situation because um, of the separation. So I feel like in, in terms of the uh, journey so far, I feel like uh, you're on the precipice of something big with this person if you want to be with this person because we all have free choice and free will. You don't have to be with your twin flame um, if it's too difficult. But because you're walking away and you're thinking about a new start here, you're actually activating the cord, okay, um, for them to come around and uh, contact you uh, and they'll be the chaser instead, okay. Now let us go to uh, the Celtic Cross. I'm going to see the details of this relationship, see if this person's coming towards you in April in to May and see what's happening there. What is the heart of the matter for my beautiful Leo? What is the heart of the matter? Can you please guide? Thank you so much. We have the 10 of water. You're in search of happiness. You found a certain level of peace, serenity, harmony, and there is good fortune coming your way. And I feel like you don't want to rock the boat. You may be thinking that, you know, you want the ultimate 10. You want the big happiness. You want a contented love and support from somebody. You want to settle down and you feel like that, um, you deserve that. Absolutely. You you do, Leo. You have a lot of love to give. That's the energy uh, I'm getting here. You've got so much love to give that it will be a shame to be waiting for someone who is not spiritually ascending. Now, what is the challenge in this situation? The nine of earth. Okay. A solitary energy. Yes, you're self-sufficient. Absolutely. You don't need nobody, Leo, but you would like somebody. Okay. You feel like at the moment it's just work, work, work and earning the money. And, you know, this is an energy of being in a solitary um, sort of mode and, and uh, working hard for financial gain. Uh, the challenge here is you would like to uh, perhaps partner up with somebody and share it with somebody. I mean, you know, share your pool, your kind of finances. I don't feel like uh, you want someone to just come and join you and spend your money. Absolutely not. It needs to be reciprocal and uh, imbalanced there. But also just be a little bit uh, wary of workaholism, Leo, just because there's nobody about. Um, work, work, work will make you uh, very, very exhausted. And of course, it's, it's great to make the money there, but leave a little bit of time for yourself, okay, to have a lot of self-care. Uh, but the nine of earth indicates you're just working really hard and you don't see that there's any other opportunity um, to uh, reach out to anybody new or even your twin flame if this person's gone a bit silent. Now, what is below my beautiful Leo? Okay, now the messenger of fire indicates uh, you may have been... Um, there's a lot of passion here, let's put it this way. And this person comes on in and they give you a very passionate uh, message. They may come in and out um, and sort of message you occasionally uh, because the messenger of fire is the knight of fire, is the knight of wands, okay? This person is sporadic in their messaging. Uh, so it's like they're here for the good times, gone for the bad times. Very lusty, very spirited, uh, free spirited, creative person maybe even. Um, and they sort of come on in and then you're talking, it's all wonderful and then it goes 
silent okay so deep down you know that this person is still in an ascension phase because they keep coming in and out but you're determined because leo you know that this person is connected to you on a deeper level um also the passion is off the charts here um now what is behind you the empress so again the same energy that was coming out there leo you may feel like time is running out you may feel like um, and, and I gotta say this right now, if you feel like your time or your beauty or your handsomeness is uh, fading or running out, that is not the case, Leo, okay? There is always love. The right person for you will gravitate towards you according to your spiritual ascension. So if you are wanting to be with your twin flame, uh, there is no time limit, okay? This person will love you to the ends of the earth. And when they finally surrender to the union, then you can come back into union together. But if you don't want to do that, then there is always a soulmate who could come on in there as well and love you equally. It won't be the same. You will always love your twin flame. You cannot get rid of the, the twin flame bond, but you can obviously partner up with somebody. So please don't feel like your time is running out or that the best days, your abundant days are behind you. That is not the case, okay? Now, if you feel like there's limited resources as well, there's nothing you can do about your twin flame at, journey at the moment, that's the best position to be in because the Empress stands in her power Again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. Stands in her power, is, um, you know, has healthy boundaries, strong self esteem, but knows that she is the one and magnetizes the one towards her. So it is an energy of stop chasing, focus on self, and then your twin flame comes towards you. Okay. What is the potential? What is above you? Nine of water. Everything you ever wished for, Leo. Uh, you know, it has the potential to come through. This is the Nine of Cups, which is wish fulfillment. So whatever it is you're thinking about, you can bring about. If you want to heal and ascend and surrender to the union with your twin flame, absolutely that is possible. But remember, it takes two to tango, so you do have to wait for that person to come towards you. Let them chase you, Leo. That's the stage that you should be in right now. Uh, but this indicates here that this person, they, they actually see you as a dream come true. I'm going to pull some cards on that energy because right now I'm getting an energy of yeah well it doesn't feel like that okay um so i'm gonna pull a card and see where they're at now what is in the near future for this twin flame journey we have the ace of fire and we have the queen of air so what they're indicating here is this person is going to come in and send you a passionate message okay you will hear from this person uh, they're definitely coming on in okay they're coming to talk uh both being fire this person you know very attracted to you and, you know, there's a lot of romantic feelings here as well, but this person is driven um, very much by um, passion, let's put it that way. Um, and you will hear from this person. I feel like they want a new start with you and they have an urge. They've always got this urge to contact you, Leo. No matter what this person does, they always think back to their counterpart. Now, again, male or female, not a gender specific reading. It's about the energy. But, you know, these two positions, they're opposing each other. So it's like... Um, they always want to be back in contact with you, but they never feel ready to commit. Now, this is the control issue card right here because we got the Queen of Air. Now, this is a Libra energy. Uh, this, uh, the Queen of Air indicates self-sufficiency, total honesty. You just want the truth, Leo. You just want to know where you stand. You've got healthy boundaries, as I said, and you may listen to what this person has to say, but I feel like you're going to be quite sharp towards this person if you even want to talk to this person at all. The Queen of Air, she is like you know, sharpshooting, takes no BS, clarity of purpose. Um, I also see that you 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 see through this person whenever they give you anything that is less than the truth. But I do feel like um, you're aligning yourself with a greater understanding and intention, which is you're not going to speak to this person unless they mean it. Okay, it's nice to get sexual kind of messages or some sort of, you know, hey, babe, I miss you kind of messages. And you're like, well, hey, babe, you know, I've been here for like eight months. You got my number. You got little feet. You could have walked to me. You could have come, you could have come to me. You could have told me how you felt about me. But eight months I haven't heard from you or however long it's been. So I feel like you're going to be quite sharp with this person. Um, I feel like you're quite guarded with this person because you let this person in. And I feel like there's an element here of you don't trust this person. Okay. You feel like this person is unkind by keep coming in and out. I feel like this person is trying to really work out life. Now, again, I'm not here to condone anybody's actions um, because I don't know your personal situation. And uh, if this person's been unkind to you or pushed you away, I mean, I, I'm not a fan of that sort of uh, 
behavior at all. But I feel like this person, um, there's something about Peter Pan about this person. This person thinks that they're going to be young forever, okay? And I feel like this person's starting to wake up now and go, huh, okay, um, I'm not really 100% happy in my life right now. They're really receiving some sort of karma, and I feel like you're kind of on their mind because they're remembering the times when they were happy, okay? Now, what is uh, the advice that you're giving yourself in this moment, Leo? Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What is the advice... Leo is giving to themselves in this moment. We have temptation. You're trying to resist temptation, but you are tempted. Okay, this is the devil card. Now, the energy or the advice you're giving to yourself at this moment is this person is toxic um, or this person has still not ascended here. You know that this person is obs obsessed with you, Leo. You know it, okay? I feel like it's a reciprocated energy because it's a mirrored energy. We've got a little bit of energy joining. It went very cold there. Okay. So they've given me two words. One is Tristram, Tristram. So I feel like that's somebody's name, Tristram or Tristram. Yeah, Tristram. Uh, that's not going to speak to everybody, of course. If it doesn't connect with you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. Uh, they're just indicating that that person needs to pay close attention because their attention may have wavered for the moment. But the second word that they gave me just before that was cistern, cistern. I don't know if it's connected at all. I get random messages, um, cistern. So I'm just saying it because it may connect with you in some way, but I'm not sure how. Also, they're showing me a bracelet um, that has got some sort of um, trinket on it. A uh, little, uh, maybe something like one of these on it there. Uh, I mean, it could be any of those. Uh, interesting. I've just picked one out. It just happens to be a cat, Leo. So maybe you've got something, a little bracelet there with a cat on it or something to do with Leo on there. Uh, please take it as it resonates. Now, either this was a gift to yourself or a gift to somebody else or it was given as a gift to you. They're showing it to me with a bow, which indicates it is it was a gift. So if that's you, again, there's something in this message for you. But temptation, I will pull some cards on this. You're tempted by this person. It's like a moth to a flame. You wanna resist this person, and I feel like you will resist this person um, because you want them to spiritually ascend. What is the environment, the external circumstances? The hangman, you've waited a long time and you've sacrificed a lot of that beautiful time. You are maybe trying to release this person, get a new perspective, learn, but you know that your person, your twin flame needs to surrender to the union Otherwise, it's no deal. There's nothing more you can do within this situation. I feel during this uh, sort of hangman kind of energy, uh, you may be a victim of selfishness from this person. You may have even felt like this person betrayed you because they just kept breadcrumbing you or, um, you know, dangling that carrot. Uh, but I will find out what this person's intentions are um, but or where they're at in their spiritual journey um, because we, you know, we all make a soul contract with our twin flame before we enter this lifetime. Um, but what I feel like is you during this downtime and you've waited a long time, I feel like you're thinking about manifesting new opportunities in, in love. You didn't want to, Leo, but I feel like you're forced to, okay? Um, because this person's just kept you, left you hanging. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? Woo. Uh, what is the hope and fear here? Ace of Water. You want them to tell you how they feel. You want, uh, you want them to show you love. You want partnership with this person. You want to go the distance with this person and have a high level commitment. You know that this person is your soulmate. As you can see, there is a seahorse there that indicates that, um, you know, seahorses, they partner up for life. And you know that there is a lesson to learn here with this person. You're trying to not be too disappointed or let down by this union, but I mean, you have been, so what can you do? You're learning the lessons though, because that's a big old pearl of wisdom right there. Equally, I get with this card, Leo, that if you cannot have this person, you're really trying to manifest new because you've waited long enough and you deserve love. And they also want this one here, say, seven of earth. Now the seven of earth is an, indi is an indication of can we save this? All this patience, all this hard work with this relationship, it's been delayed. Is it worth waiting for? Will it be successful? I feel like you're opening yourself up to a new strategy. You're at a bit of a, cro a crossroads here. You're having to decide whether you continue with this twin flame journey or whether you decide to manifest somebody new. You've come this far, okay? It's almost like uh, I get this feeling from you, Leo, where you're like, I've come this far. Surely I shouldn't just only come this far since I've come this far. Uh, but also just when you, this is the thing with twin flame. Once we let go of the obsession and we start to learn the lessons and look inward, that's when 
things start to happen with your twin flame. They come towards you, okay? So I feel like there's an energy here of you recognizing that this person, you're disappointed with the, the level of um, input or follow through this person has injected into the relationship. And I feel like you're hoping that they come towards you to save this before you walk away um, for good. Um, but you're not sure because I feel like there's a cynicism there. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please uh, show me an outcome for my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know? Can you show me an outcome? The outcome position? Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Leo, you cannot write this. You really cannot write this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to show, I'm just going to pop that there. Um, we got seven of air. Now, seven of air is nonconformity. You live life on your own terms. You do not people please and you march to the beat of your own drum. Leo, the person, whoever this person is, who's your twin flame, they are exactly the same as you and you are mirroring each other's energy. Okay. So, um, both of you, you know, I feel like there's a runaway energy here. Seven of air is about running away. So if you're, if you've been the chaser this whole time, uh, Leo, there's an indication here that you're flipping the switch here. It's now time for you to walk away, and that's when your twin flame comes on in, okay? I feel like um, this person's going to come towards you and make amends, just to let you know. Um, also, with the Seven of Air, I just get this energy of... Um, just to let you know, this is uh, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. We've also got a lot of fire here, so you could be dealing with another uh, Leo, perhaps even an Aries or a Sag there. We've got a little bit of water as well uh, going on there. Um, but I feel very much like you're honoring that this person's quite independent and free-spirited, and you, you kind of understand that part of this person. That's why you may have given this person such a... Uh, let them away with some things that you would not let the uh, other people away with. But I'm sorry... The outcome is this. We got a king and queen of fire there. This is a match, okay? This is soulmate energy. You and this person are divinely guided. And yes, there is separation. And yes, it is painful. But deep down, you both know that you're meant for each other. And that you're, you know, you are cut of the same cloth. You are twin flame, okay? Now, king of fire is Aries energy. This person, um, as I, I was doing the shuffle earlier and the king of fire came out there, that Aries as well. Uh, this person, you know, they are having the courage to come forward and be a leader and come towards you. Um, this person, um, whatever it is they're doing in their career as well, they're quite an influencer. I feel like they are coming to offer your their heart, okay? Um, and we've got the Queen of Fire. This is a Leo energy here. Um, so feisty, confident, self-assured. When you take back the power, Leo, and, and be your wonderful feisty self, getting your mojo and believing in yourself, no self-doubt there, having confidence to walk away from the union and tell this person, you know what? Two of us can walk away from this, right? You let this person that you don't march to the beat of anyone else's drum but your own. That's when this person comes back on in to say, hey, I, we need to talk because I can't stop thinking about you. So this person knows that you're the one, okay? I'm just going to clarify some of this energy before we close the reading, okay? Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What is this about temptation? What's that going on there for them? Can you please clarify temptation for my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know? Thank you so much. Four of inspiration, okay? Now, the, the temptation here, um, four of inspiration is the four of wands, which is, um, you know, halfway to marriage. So perhaps uh, this person is either obsessing about marriage and, you know, getting a little bit scared, you know, analysis paralysis kind of energy here, or you are um, maybe thinking about, um, you know, fast tracking the relationship. You know, when you know that you're in love with someone, sometimes you want the relationship to go faster because you just know that it's right. Um, this person's got fear of abandonment and they've also got fear of co uh, commitment. They feel like this Peter Pan energy. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide? You know what? I don't know why they give me this. Maybe this has come up in another reading. I'm not sure, but um, they're giving me an image and please uh, forgive me for actually mentioning this one, but I have to because they keep showing it to me. A plunger for the toilet, for the bathroom, you know, um, 
And also earlier, they gave me cistern. So maybe that is related actually. Uh, so please take it as it resonates. Maybe your toilet's blocked. I mean, oh my gosh, the images that I get, Leo, I have no control over them. I'm so sorry. You know, if you could live inside my head, sometimes you'd be horrified at the images that I get. But anyway, um, what they're giving me is someone with a plunger or I think it's called a plunger, yeah. Uh, so if that is you and you're currently listening to this message and you know, um, I'm so sorry. I mean, we're all human. We've all got to do things like that. So uh, I'll leave it there. Um, but anyway, let me just clarify a little bit more energy. Uh, thank you so much, spirit guides, great angels. Uh, again, if that um, image does not resonate for you, which I hope it doesn't resonate for anybody really, um, but if it does not, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means whoever uh, has been uh, actioning that uh, throughout the day or something, um, there's something in this message for them and they need to pay close attention. Uh, we got the Ace of Voices. Yeah, this person does not want to talk about marriage or high level commitment. Okay, so let it naturally unfold organically. Uh, take things slow. Okay, a lot of passion between you and this person. But as soon as this person, someone mentions, you know, settling down or something like that, this person gets the heebie-jeebie. Thank you so much. Can you tell me why this person gets uh, so freaked out by high level commitment? What is that? Can you please guide? Queen of emotions. This person is very insecure. Queen of emotions in the reverse. This person, as I said, abandonment issues, but also this person could have some sort of addictions there as well. Um, this person, yeah, they get very freaked out by it. They, they, they get insecure. Um, can you give me a timeline regarding um, my beautiful Leo partnering up with their twin flame? Anything more than you can tell me? Thank you so much. Hangman in the reverse. And two of inspiration. Okay, so um, it basically says the waiting time, you know, basically you, you're basically a victim of circumstance. You have to wait it out and see um, how this person comes towards you. The two of wands, which is the two of inspiration there, indicates, you know, you have to... Uh, Basically, you've got two options. Wait it out and see if this person ascends or make a choice and expand and walk away yourself. It's totally your call. We all have free will, but they're not giving me an actual date. Um, but they just said 18. 18. Uh, let me just, I don't know. I'm just going to go to this deck and see if they can clarify 18 for me. I mean, maybe 18 is a special day for you in some way. Uh, but uh, let me see 18. Why do you say 18? Death card. Death card indicates uh, endings bringing new beginnings, the change, okay? So either you're beginning a new transition with this person because you're walking away and not chasing them anymore. It indicates you have to get rid of old habits, release that which hinders you. If you're stuck in a rut, for example, if you're tempted to message this person back when they come on in and you give them the exact same thing as you always give them before, you know, if you do the same thing, you get the same thing. It indicates you're still always going to get the same thing, right, Leo? So it's about change. You need to end the pattern that you may be within in this person with this person. Okay, what is old and familiar needs to become a thing of the past. It is time to state your intention, Leo, or go silent and wait for this person to chase you. Okay, I'm not saying play a game at all. But what I am saying is something needs to change, okay? Don't resist the energy. The, 18 is, the 18th is obviously important for um, maybe this person comes on in then and you, you, you're doing things differently, okay? I'm just going to get you a, um, an advice card before we move forward. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Woo! We have discernment. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Now I will quick, uh, quickly pull a card on discernment because there's another three there, okay? Now discernment means, you know, just pay attention. And we got the three there as well. So, um, and we got celebration, which is normally the three of cups as well. So that will be two threes. Uh, but they are indicating that be cautious, take it slow, don't fast track this, you know, see everything you need to see, you know, it's basically see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, okay, kind of energy. But they're indicating there is a celebration. Let me just clarify about the threes. Can you please tell me about third party situation or threes? For those of the Leos that know that their person is in a third party situation or a karmic, can you please guide them for their highest good? King of Cups in the reverse, okay? Um, interesting energy. Uh, if this person is in a a third party situation. Um, this person may be emotionally manipulating the situation right now. Will of fortune. Bad news. Okay. So 
don't involve yourself in that energy of a third party situation. If you want love with this person, yeah, it will, yeah, this person's denying their feelings. If they're with a karmic, they're denying their feelings and keeping themselves stuck. Okay, um, so that's the third party situation. If this person is not in a third party situation, then expect spiritual ascension and union with this person. Um, it's, it's, it's happening. Okay, uh, now I'm just going to get you a wisdom of the oracle before we close. Just to let you know, it just means there's a slight delay if in your third party situation, this person, uh, I feel like will be separating from their karmic uh, in the future. Thank you so much, spirit guides, guardian angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. To the sea. Number seven, that is the chariot card. Action, movement forward, change, okay? Now let's read from the book as I don't want to tell you anything wrong. But as you can see, water is about emotions to the sea, dwelling in the emotions. Let's see what it says in the book. Uh, number seven. There are points... It's about being in the flow. It says there are points in a relationship when you have to decide to go with the flow rather than dictate the course you share with another. Can you let go of the need to have things your way and allow the relationship itself, your combined goals and desires to steer the ship? Can you both transcend your personalities and allow the partnership to form its own identity, its own energy? Now's the time to just relax and see where this mutual journey leads. So exactly the same energy there. Let it go organically. You're in the flow. You're right where you're meant to be. Yes, it's worrying. Sometimes you want to fast track it because there's love, but that's not what spirit says. Thank you so much, spirit guides, and angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Leo? What do they need to know? Oh, wow. We've got quite a few trinkets here. Okay. So we have the protection hand, the hand to hand there. Okay. So this is a deep knowing, uh, but you know, it indicates, you know, caution, take things slow. Um, you're guided and protected at this time. So do not worry. They actually want that on the nine of, um, water there. So what they're indicating here is, um, your dreams, your goals, your wishes, they are protected. Okay. Leo. So if you're separated from this person, it means that you're both meant to learn the lessons separately and come back to union. Uh, we also got that cat, but a different cat, actually. Uh, so that is obviously for you, Leo, a cat there. What it means when I get the cat is about independence. You know, cats, they love themselves first and then extend their love to their, uh, you know, uh, fellow uh, either owners or, uh, you know, to other cats um, or other animals. But, you know, they, they live life on their own terms. So there is an independence here. Um, but I feel like things are about to change for you. They want it on the Queen of Fire. Interesting that it's the Leo energy. Uh, we also have the Owl. So a lot of wisdom here. A lot of uh, spiritual ascension. You're seeing things 360, Leo. So I feel like you will uh, gain a lot of downloads there from Spirit. Just be mindful as well. The Moon card in the reverse came up there. So I feel like this person will have visited you in your dreams before you actually get a message from this person. It's almost like this person's saying, I'm coming on in, okay? Uh, they want this on the King of Fire. This person's maturing, okay? They're, they're actually receiving a lot of karma and they're actually gaining a lot of wisdom. And finally, we got a heart within a heart. <coughs> Excuse me, heart within a heart. Uh, right in the center is a heart there. This person carries you in their heart and they are spiritually ascending. They want union, uh, but you know, this person is um, ending some toxic situations within their um, set. Now they're also saying Ram, R-A-M, I guess, Ram. So either this person is an Aries um, or um, their nickname is Ram. Uh, please take it as it resonates. It's not gonna resonate for everyone. I mean, maybe this person give you a picture of a Ram or I don't know. Please take it as it resonates. Where would you like this? They want it on the Ace of Water. There is love, Leo. This person loves, okay? I will leave it there. I hope something resonated in this reading for you. If it did, please like or subscribe to my channel. Completely free for you. All you have to do is press a bell. Uh, that lets you know when I update my next message. It lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is very important for me. Also, if you'd like to win a personal reading, just take 10 minutes out of your day to... Um, visualize um, whatever it is that you want to manifest okay I will choose one lucky subscriber on the 12th of April um, you can share it in the comments box below your visualization if you want to if not just put the word love in there and I will gravitate towards one lucky subscriber also just to reiterate all my readings are free okay the the competition giveaways free I never ask for money never 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 not even a donation. So if someone contacts you and says, hey, you won the competition, 
would you like a personal reading? You've been given the privilege, <coughs> excuse me, to actually pay for a reading. That is not me. It will never be me. Not even a cent. I will not ask you for nothing. Okay. So please, please, please be mindful. There's so many scammers out there. Excuse me. <coughs> Why is it I'm all of a sudden losing my voice? I'm just going to go get my trommel in one moment while I do this. <clears throat> Sorry, I just uh, keep my tourmaline close by. Uh, so basically, uh, just to ward it off any negativity. But basically, if anyone contacts you for money, that is a scammer, okay? No matter if they say, whoever I am, some wonderful people on here have unfortunately been scammed. So, um, you know, just, just be mindful. Okay, I will leave it there, my beautiful Leo. Thank you so much and love.